Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name is Mark. And I can get started today by announcing that Aerosoft have updated the software for the Bravo Throttle Quadrant. So a massive shout out of thanks to Aerosoft. Although they are retailers of the Honeycomb product, they're not the manufacturers themselves. In this video, I'll show you where to get it and show you it in operation. To find the download, head over to aerosoft.com. Head over to their forums, you may need to register, then look for downloads and search for the Honeycomb Bravo Throttle Quadrant. Or easier still, follow the link in the notes below. Once you find it, it's Microsoft Flight Simulator Honeycomb Software 2024. Select the download link. You'll get a number of download options. Don't choose the top one, that's Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Select the one that says Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and your file will download. Once the file has been downloaded, put it somewhere safe in case you need to use it again, and extract the zip file. It'll create a new directory, and in there will be the AS Honeycomb install file, and a readme, just check you've got the right one, it's for Microsoft 2024. To get these lights working, follow these instructions exactly. For the install file, run as administrator. It's a relatively short install. Follow the on-screen instructions. I'm installing version 2.1.2.0. Select the agreement and then click on Next. And it'll show that it's installing to the default location for the community folder. But if you've changed the location of your community folder correctly, no problem. As I have done, I moved it to my iDrive. Select Install. It's a fairly quick process. It correctly installed the AFC Bridge software in my community folder. It will have also placed an icon on your desktop. You can check the install was successful. There should be a directory AFC Bridge now in your community folder. Now I recommend you restart the computer. As the files in your community folder, you don't need to run anything. It will start automatically when you run the sim. Let's check it out. I've now booted up the sim. I've got the Beechcraft Bonanza G36 as my test. Now I'm going to go ahead and spawn into an airport. You'll note that the Bravo gear lever lights. My gear is down and the lights, I've got three green. That's a very promising start. Just let the sim finish loading up. I thought we'd test this in real time so that we can see exactly what's happening. Just going to hide the yoke. And on the Annunciator panel on the Bravo, I've got two lights on. That's anti-ice and parking brake. Let me just move the mixture and prop levers a little bit. Hopefully you'll get a better view of it. There you can see the two lights are on. I'm now going to switch on my pito heat. And the anti-ice light is gone. And now turn off the parking brake. And that light's gone as well. Okay, let's go for a very quick test flight. And we'll just test the autopilot, make sure it's working. Oh, I got the sun right in my face. Never mind, it'll do for this demo. I don't need to climb very high today. I'm just going to put into the autopilot a thousand feet. I'll put in a heading of about 90 degrees to our takeoff position, just so that we can see that it's following it. And I'll set a vertical speed as well. And you'll note the VS button is now lit. That's perfect. Let's just dial that in. Something around 500 feet should be good enough. Right, let's get out of here. Throttle full. I've chosen this aircraft, of course, because it does have gear, so we can check that the gear lights are working as expected. Airspeed is alive. We're facing directly into the sun, so a little bit of glare, but no real problem. We'll be turning shortly. We're now starting to climb out. Just come back on the prop a little bit here, I think. Manage the RPM. We can now safely put our gear up. Lights turn red with the gear in transition and they go out once the gear is fully up. Perfect. Let me arm the heading and that has lights. That's very good. And now let's activate the autopilot. And the autopilot is now engaged. Perfect. Well, I haven't tested everything, but I've tested all the basics and it seems to be working flawlessly with the default aircraft. So you can now get your lights on the Bravo. Thanks very much as always for joining me. I hope you found it useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourself. See you again soon and ciao for now.